Hi, my name is Allison Rapp, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some basic etiquette that you can use when hosting a meeting either over the phone, over Zoom, or perhaps in person. Now, before you do any of these things, it's usually a good idea to check in with whoever you're going to be speaking with about a day or two beforehand, just to double check that your appointment still stands, you know the time, and all is well. If you're having this meeting over the phone, the most important thing you can do is try to situate yourself in as quiet of a spot as possible. It's not always easy with street noise and kids and pets, but as quiet as you can get it is great. One good idea is to maybe do a practice phone call with somebody else beforehand to make sure that your reception is good on your cell phone and your audio levels are where they need to be. If it's helpful for you, you can plan out a little script beforehand so that you can quickly remember the talking points that you wanna get across. That being said, it's also always a good idea to have a pen and paper near you, just in case you wanna take down any notes. As for the phone call itself, make sure you call on time, if you're the person calling. If the other person is supposed to call you, 15 minutes is usually a reasonable amount of time to wait before you might want to follow up with that person either via email or some other method. If you're having this meeting over Zoom, a lot of these same points are still going to apply. You should still definitely be prepped to take notes with a pen and paper. You should still definitely call on time and all those other things. But of course, if you're on a webcam, you're going to be physically visible. Try to make sure that your lighting situation is okay, meaning avoid being backlit and try to make sure that your face is as clear as possible. Try to position yourself in the camera so that you're in the center of the frame and your whole face is showing. In terms of audio, one good idea is to keep your mic muted when you're not speaking. That way you can eliminate any of the background noise that might come up. Again, it's not always easy, but it's really helpful. And same thing as with the phone, test out your connections beforehand to make sure everything is working properly. Sometimes things come up and if they do, it's a good idea to email that person to let them know what's happened. If you're meeting somebody in person, Again, a lot of these same points are actually still relevant. Take along a pen and a piece of paper in case you want to jot down notes while you're talking, but try to ask the person beforehand if it's okay to do that. You don't want to come across as someone who's just scribbling away during the whole meeting. Try your very, very best not to be late. Nobody likes to be kept waiting, but if something does come up, let them know as soon as you possibly can. In fact, if you can, try to be early. In terms of dress, it can sometimes depend on the type of meeting you're having and who you're meeting with, but when in doubt, business casual is absolutely the way to go. Overall, try to remember that the person that you're speaking with either in person or on Zoom or over the phone is another human, just like you. As long as you're attentive and pleasant and do your research beforehand, you're bound to make a positive, lasting impression.